In Safety Watch now, the shorter days and the end of daylight saving time has increased the dangers on the roads. As John Potter reports, it's a dangerous time as pedestrian and bike commuters are suddenly now less visible to area drivers. This is Kirsten Graham's once a year tradition, outfitting for the shorter days. Now that his ride home is a dark one, Kirsten gets illuminated. Even if you're riding your bike um, at dusk, uh, suddenly a lot of us are caught off guard. And while almost everyone enjoyed turning their clocks back an hour last weekend, Sarah Thomas dreaded it. It's now too dark for her to feel safe on the ride home. Like the only light that I'll see are the street lights or the cars that pass me. Sarah's one of hundreds in town who commute to work and back by bike. Lately, the coming back is more treacherous. Already this year, she was hid in the dark, knocked to the ground and hospitalized. Both of my lights and I was traveling on a bike friendly road. And they still didn't see you? No. The danger is real. Forrest loves his bike so much he doesn't own a car, but he worries about coming home from his new job that starts Monday. Somebody won't be paying attention when they're behind the wheel and you could get clipped. And never more so than this time of year, whether you're a bicyclist or a pedestrian, you have to realize how invisible you are in the evenings. For that early dark before 6 p.m., there are new things that really let you be seen. This is a, a thousand lumens, which really lights up your night. These days, even the clothes are brighter. 80, 90% reflection back um, to, to the source. And sunset is also the time when the pavement turns against bikers. Take a look at this Reno Road, one of the many hazards hard to see in the dark. Sarah stays away from the edge. Because the edge is where you're going to find a bunch of the potholes, where we find glass. But if you're away from the edge, you're more in the path of the cars. Yes. So keep an eye out for her and others sharing the road. Covering Safety Watch, John Potter, Channel 2 News.